Hello everybody, it's Dee here with my lovely assistant, Sarah. I am going to be showing her how to make an A2 envelope, which fits, which is like this, this here, which fits the card that she made for somebody special. So it fits right in there. You want to show them how it fits in there, Sarah, please? She's going to be my hands. And I'm going to show you how to make a card with beginners or, or an envelope. She's never, never never made envelopes. She's done cards. But she's never made an envelope. It fits perfectly in there. And we're going to get started. So take that away, Sarah. So we're going to start out with a regular eight and a half by eleven sheet of cardstock. Nothing special about it. Pull your. This is the boom folder here. You'll see it's eight and a half or it's eleven by eight and a half is how it measures. This is what we call a scoring um, board, scoring plate, scoring board, thank you. This is the Martha Stewart scoring board. This is a large one. If you turn it upside down, so I will show you real quick, it has this little fun contraption back here, which is a guide to help you make envelopes. So we're gonna take that out Make sure we're back in frame. And you're going to put that up in the corner. Make sure it's flush in the corner. Make sure it's not pulled over or anything. It's flush in the corner. So we're going to zoom in a little bit. Go to the camera a little bit. So I can show you guys what it says on there. I don't know if you can see it or not. But it says A2 is the card we want to make. And what kind of paper do you use? 8.5 by 11 is the size. And our A line will be scored at three inches, and our B line will be scored at three and five eighths. Three and five eighths inches. So we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna put you back over here. Sorry, I hope I don't make you dizzy. I'm gonna zoom you out. And trying to move you over a little bit. Sorry, our camera contraction is not the best right now, but it is what it is. Let's move this over just a tad. Okay, so you want to set up your paper. Okay, first of all, we have eight and a half by eleven right. paper. A two says we need to make it what? Eight and a half by eight and a half. All right, which means our paper is too big. Right. So let's take that out for a second. No. Oh, that. Okay. You never specified. I did not specify. So, you want to score it down to eight and a half. Stick it in there right at eight and a half and score it down once. I'm so nervous. Just go straight on down, you're fine. Very good, that's all you need to do. Now we're going to take our handy dandy trimmer. Is that paper trimmer, is? very good. I'll put it in there and on your score line, do you know how to use this? I know how to use it, but I'm probably all right. not gonna do it right. Right here is where it's going to cut. Zoom in. Oh, let me zoom in. That's a good point. This little. That little spot there is where you're going to cut. So, you want to put that line, you want to put it flush up there so that you know you're even. You can close this down because your blade's down here, which they can't see right now because of the way this is, but they'll see it in a second. There's a little wire in there. Do you see that wire that goes straight up? I don't. That has to be on your score line. I don't see the score line. There it is. All right, is it directly on that score line? Mm-hmm. Okay, before you do anything, make sure you're flush up against there, because if not, you're gonna have a very crooked piece of paper. Now, take that out of your hand. You're gonna push this and press firmly, not super hard, just firmly down and push it up. Keep right on going, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Perfect. Take out your pieces. You now have two pieces of paper perfectly cut. So we're done with this. That's okay. Everything's good. This we can use for scrap for later. So we'll put this aside because we'll use it for another project. Now what's our paper measure? Eight and a half by eight and a half. All right. So we have what they're requiring. So put it back up. Now are you flush up against there? No, no, there you go. Now you see here it tells you how to place your paper. It's like a diagonal. 
You want to make sure it's flush up against that, which yours is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to call this the A line, the A side. This one's going to be B, this one's going to be A, this one's going to be B. So for your A, it tells you for an A2 size card, mm -hmm. eight and a half by eight and a half, which this is, you're going to score it at three inches. Which is here. Straight on down. You'll feel the groove. You feel the groove in there? I have no idea. Obviously, you'll feel it because you're in it. All right, you want to score it again yeah. just to be safe. You can put a little bit of pressure on it. Not too much, but a little bit because it's not going to rip the paper. Very good. Now, you want to flip your paper to the B side. Make sure it's flush on there. Are you good? I think so. Now, you're going to do it at three and five eighths. Do you know how to do five eighths? Uh, the sign. No, you're going to count. This is one. This is one. Mm -hmm. Two, three, four, five. Then watch. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight. So your five eights is one, two, three, four, five. It's the one past half. Okay. Three and a half. So score that all the way down. It's so nerve wracking. You're going to go keep going. guys all right is you want to score enough? it again is it deep enough you can make it deeper oh it's not in it oh my gosh this camera thing is not good okay. very good now you're going to go back to another a side and what are you going to do for a side three very good You want to do it again to make it a little deeper? You can. I guess. Okay. Okay. Perfect. All right. Now your final side is your B. B side, which would be three and five eighths. Very good. Are you comfortable with that? You don't want to do it again? You don't have to. It'll fold. No, I'm good. All right, now, do you see these little triangles? I don't. Do they? Let me see. These triangles here. There's triangle here, triangle there, another one there, another one there. These all need to come out, so you need to cut them. I want to show you the proper way to cut when okay. you're cutting something like that. All right, take it. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't want to put your scissors up like you are. Put it up a little bit so they can see. You don't want to do that. Put your scissors to where the end of it's going to clip there. So we're, no, no. Nope. I, I can't say it, so. Okay, sorry, I'm going to show you real quick. This is the way I do it to ensure that I'm not cutting too far in. I will go to here, people say it, and I will go clip. You know what I mean? Mm. So, because if I go here and I slip or the scissors get stuck, they're cutting a big, huge thing. Okay. You confuse me, but what's what you always say? All right. So, oh, my fingers are stuck. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So, have at it. Try to do it in the camera. Is it in the camera? You're going to have to be the judge. Yeah, you're good. There you go. Just pull it off. No, nope. see, so you're going to cut into that. Okay. Well, you know what? Mistakes. Mistakes happen, yes. I cannot see this. You cut it any way you feel comfortable. That's just a foolproof way I do it so that I'm, I ensure myself that I'm not going to overcut because I have a couple other pairs of scissors that get stuck and I have to push them hard. It feels like and then um, I overcut because it's when I finally force it down it cuts hard so
There you go. So now you should have something that looks like this. Yeah. Which is perfect. All right, now, your long, big sides, these, B. the B sides, very good, are your top and bottom. These are your side to side. So flip it over, take your bone folder. Now you can do one of two things. You can cut this part off because if you see on this card here, I like to cut that off. If not, you just have a point here. I think it looks better this way. It's personal preference. However you want to do it. If you want to have your point in there, that's totally fine. Now would be the time, if you do choose to, would be the time to cut it and you would just cut you would just cut straight here, this here, if you choose to. If not, you don't have to. I think we should do one with the point. Okay. Just the shell. Okay. Okay. So I don't know. Push it up a little bit. You want to take that out? That's fine. Take that out and put it aside for now. Okay. So push. Put. Fold them all in. Fold them. Yep. Fold it in. Now to use your bone folder, you're going to flatten it out. Right on your line. Very good. Can't tell where the frame is. It's so nerve wracking. Good job. Very good. Do I do the other one too? Mm -hmm, you can. That'll be your lid. Very good. All right, now you want to open up a little bit. Open all the way up. That's what you have. Looks like that. So, we need to glue these two sides, this flap to these two sides. But you don't want to glue in here and you don't want to glue up here because it's going to get stuck and you won't be able to put anything in it. So you just want to glue anything that's going to touch here and here. Understood? So, so why don't you glue on the inside so you know what's going to be that's glued? That's whatever you prefer. That's totally okay. fine. So, it's right there. where's our tape runner? We're using this tape runner. It is by Recollections. And Sarah's never used a tape runner before. I've used the tiny ones, never this. This is a little different. There's no no uh, triggers or anything for it. Very good. Go to the other side. Very good. Do I just put it down? Yep. Put it down and push it. Push it on the tape. Ugh. Now here's another little something I do. I don't, see how she's using the point of this? It'll put indentations in here. A lot of people use it. I find that it puts indentations because of the way I use it. So I tend to turn it around here and use it that way so I don't have indentations because I tend to push too hard. She, she didn't push hard so she's okay there. But that's what I do. So. And there's a little piece of tape on the side. Any little things you see you can get rid of like she's doing, very good. So, show them. Now she's made an A2 size envelope. Oh, Shelby. Okay, you show. I am the panel weight of this operation. So, if you look at the other one, Sarah, you can see she left a little pointy here. Yep. This one does not have a pointy. So it's personal preference, whichever you want to do. If you decide halfway in or you're done it and you've decided, oh, yeah, I like this better, you can go ahead and carefully and cut it. But let's make sure that the card will fit. Huh. There you go. Now you can put a little bit of tape on here. Tape it down. This one. Like we did there. Can you see it? Nope, up a little bit. There you go. Um, you can decorate your card as you wish. Like this. Like she did there. And there you have it. Homemade corn. And it takes a matter of seconds once you get the hang of it and do it. You did very good, actually. Would you? How'd you feel about it? I'm scared. Out of my mind. Did you do it again? No. You can do it again. I kind of want to try something now. You want to try something? Go ahead. Okay. 
Oh, that looks good. Doesn't look as good as I thought it would, but it's okay. Trial and error. There's no mistakes in crafting. Good job. So, stay tuned for more videos like this. Sarah, I think you did a great job. I think you could become a pro at doing this. You do a couple more of them, you'll be fine. You can make all my envelopes for me. No. <laughs> the more you do, the better you get. No. All right, guys. We, there we are. Go. Very good. nice. It looks good. You did a great job. For not never doing one, you did an awesome job. It looks like a professional job. You did great. All right, guys. Subscribe below and we'll stay tuned for more videos. Say bye, Sarah. Bye, Sarah.